Peyton Krebs is back playing with the Winnipeg Ice after starting the season on the injured list. He's off to a great start with them, and next week, he'll try to make Team Canada as the IIHF World Junior Championships are just around the corner. I had the chance to chat with the Vegas Golden Knight prospects, so thanks a lot for taking the time, Peyton. And how are you doing, and how does it feel to be back out on the ice in game action? Yeah, I think, um, you know, it's a transition when you haven't played in some of them, just about seven months, so... Um it's uh, definitely definitely been a long haul, but it was uh, nice to get on the ice and uh, try to get my timing back. It's uh, been a bit longer process than I thought, but uh, I'm grinding through it and I'm getting better every game. Did you put uh, pretty heavy expectations on yourself coming back right away to uh, produce as you know you can and everyone knows you can? Definitely. I think um, you know I have high expectations for myself and my teammates. Um, I want to be at the best as soon as possible and um, obviously, play, not playing in seven months is—it's hard to do that. But um, I just try to minimize his, uh, the mistakes as much as possible and play simple and um, have fun with it. So I know you talked about this when we chatted in the off season after you were uh, drafted by the Vegas Golden Knights. But last year was a pretty dismal season for the club. Now you guys have turned it around drastically. You're second place in the East Division behind Prince Albert. What's been the big difference, and how exciting is it to be now on a winning team? Yeah, I think um, from top to bottom, um, we're a lot more consistent in, in our play, and our, our players are a lot stronger. Obviously, our, our young guys are one year older, and our old guys are one year older. So it's um, it's nice to see the, the wind, wind's coming in, and um, it's been uh, pretty awesome to be a part of. And having a chance to win every single night is, is a great feeling, and knowing you can win on, on a daily basis is uh something you you strive for and um, we look to do every night so with that long rehab process you've now played six games uh you scored your first goal yesterday and you have seven assists so eight points must be pretty happy with the production you've been able to give back uh, give to this team since coming back from that uh, tough injury yeah i think um you know you, you set high expectations for yourself you want to be able to produce and um make an impact on your on your team and um, you know, I think uh, my line mates have done a great job of um, bringing me in. And, um, you know, it was nice to get that first goal out of the way. And um, now we're just flying from here. And going forward, uh, from what you've seen all season long, this is a team that can continue to win games and uh, try and make a splash? Definitely. I think we got the we got the forwards and we got the, the key, key t- tool to do it. I think um, we're going to be a hard team to beat coming uh, late, late of the year and um, it's exciting to, to be able to say that and um, make a run for it. So you scored your first goal yesterday, as I mentioned, against Swift Current. Uh, talk to me about that and how that felt to get your first of the campaign. Yeah, it was um, it was really nice. Um, it was one of those plays where you were really expecting to score and it went in, so that was uh, definitely nice to, to get that out of the way. And like I said, now just uh, fly from here and get more and more. And you guys have won five straight games on home ice. What's the difference from playing on home ice? You guys have been doing pretty good on the road as well, but five straight wins at the Wayne Fleming Arena. Like, uh, what's dif- what's the difference, and how great is the support there at the uh, Wayne Fleming? Yeah, I think um, Winnipeg has just done a nice job of uh, bringing us in to, to Winnipeg. And, um, you know, I think um, the home ice advantage is definitely something guys don't like coming all the way out here to, to play. And it's uh, it's nice we can take advantage of that. And we love playing here. We love all our fans and it's great so uh, I think um, if, if we can keep rolling like this we're gonna have a great season and um, just keep uh, keep doing the right things and have some fun doing it. So now you're gonna be away from the ice for a little bit because you're one of 31 players that have been invited to uh, try out for the Canadian junior team that will obviously take part in the uh, junior A championship that starts on Boxing Day. First of all before we talk about your expectations what does it feel to be included in that elite group of just 31 players to be invited? Yeah, no, it's uh, definitely an honor. I think um, anytime you can get represented like that by by Hockey Canada, it's a special moment. Um, I'm fortunate to do it. Uh, this will be my third time doing it, um, and it gets better every time. Um, I think I'm going to work my bag off to be able to uh, make the team, and um, you know, it's definitely it was definitely a nice call getting that after you know not knowing if I was going to be back to be able to play in that, and it was it was a great call to have, and I'm very excited. So you played on, you captained the Canada U18 team last year. You had 10 points in seven games. Uh, six of those were goals. What did you learn from that experience that you want to use uh, going forward here this year? Yeah, I think, um, you know, every player on Team Canada is really good. Um, there's lots of skill. There's lots of lots of talent for sure. And I think 
knowing that you can um, really be able to move the puck around and uh, knowing that you have uh, the likes of Dylan Cousins on your wing that can put the puck in the net, it's it's pretty awesome. And you just play your game, keep it simple, don't try to overcomplicate it. And I think if you can take that that away, and you're going to have success. So um, just try to be a be a 200 foot player and um, be consistent both ends of the ice. I think that's the biggest thing you can do to allow yourself to be successful. Yeah, so adding to that a little bit, obviously with Team Canada, this these are 30, 30 other, I guess, of the best players from around the country at the junior level. Mm-hmm. Does that allow you just to play you know, a little calmer, knowing you don't have to do everything because you have so much skill on your line mates and really right through the lineup? Yeah, definitely. I think it definitely gives you confidence. I mean, Team Canada has got their name for a reason. I mean, we're, we're the best players in not only Canada, but the world, and um, you know, I think having that uh, confidence to be able to make plays with your teammates is um, definitely something that some countries don't have. So, no, really looking forward to um, getting there next week and getting to know the guys and, you know, trying to earn a spot. So the tournament begins on uh, uh, December 26th against the United States, so right away a rivalry game. If you were in the lineup for that game and you made this team, what would be going through your mind? Like, what would it mean to you? Yeah, no, it would be unbelievable, um, I think. Looking back in my hockey candy years, whether it's two seventeens and U eighteen, we have the best luck against the Americans. So I'm um, going in that game. It definitely uh, be nice to get the win and uh, kind of help the pride out. So I'm I'm really looking forward to that. And like I said, I have to earn my spot first. But um, when that time comes, I'm uh, I'm going to be ready for it. And uh, it's going to be an exciting matchup. And I hope uh, the rest of Canada is ready for a great game. All right, fantastic. Well, uh, thank you so much, Peyton. Congratulations on all the success you've had. Best of luck making Team Canada, and we'll uh, chat soon. Sounds great. Thank you very much.